The man bun is back, baby. What's up? I'm Spence. You already freaking know what time it is. So this week, I put out a new cover song. It's called What I Got by Sublime. Maybe you know him. Is what I got. I said, remember that. You can find it on my SoundCloud. It's on my SoundCloud. All right, so this week, instead of explaining how I made this song, I want to actually show you how to play it because my good friend Tyler once said, it only takes four chords in the truth to make a good song. Mm. Well, this one's only two chords. So it's super easy if you're a beginner, grab your guitar, it's going to be super simple for you. And I need to make sure I tuned up. Okay, if you're just learning guitar, this is a great one for you to learn and actually play for people because pretty much everybody knows this song. And it's only two chords, like I said, it's only D and G. That's it, the whole time, seriously. No joke, it's D and G. I know you have like the famous riff, but the entire time, even underneath that, it's only D and G. So let's start you from the top. It's very simple, right? Starts off with the D, and then you got a little picking pattern that goes G, D, G. So I'm just hitting the D string, the G string, and the B string when I play the D. And then when I play the G, I play the E string, the G string, and the B string. So it goes like this. D, G. And then when I start singing, I like to strum it. It's a little simpler, you know? It gives the brain a little bit more wiggle room. So you don't have to be so perfect, right? Early in the morning, rise into the street. Light me up that cigarette, and then I play D, 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 G. Very simple, right? D and G. And then there's other places you could go off D and G. There's this D, and then there's this G. Playing your bar chords, right? Then there's this D, and then there's this G. And then there's this D, and there's this G. This D, and this G. These two are very closely related. It's a fifth relationship, or a fourth, depending on your starting place. And these two chords really like each other sound really good together, obviously. So once you feel pretty comfortable playing the D and the G together back and forth for hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of times, then it might be time for you to learn the solo. And that one is also very simple. It's a really good beginner solo for you to get used to. So this is in the key of D minor, I believe. But it starts right here on the seventh fret of the D string. So it goes. So I'll break that down for you. It starts on the D on the seventh fret, and then you go down to the G and you go five, seven, and then you'll hit the eight on the B, so. And then you'll go back to the G, seven, five, seven. So that whole phrase sounds like this. And then the next part is three chords. So you're gonna play the D, the C, and the G. So, or in simpler terms, just bar out the seventh fret on the D and the G, and then slide down to, and then you'll keep this finger there and just drop down the middle finger, and that makes the G chord right there, so it goes. And then you're gonna slide up to the 10th fret of the G and you'll hit 10, 12, and then you'll hit 10, 12 again on the next string down. And then you'll hit that 10, that's the highest note of the solo, back to the 12 of the B, and then you'll hit the 12 and pull off to 10, so it's a, and then you'll hit 13, 12, 10, and then you're gonna bend on that 12th fret of the G. And that's the whole solo. 
So played nice and slow it goes. And it's as simple as that. So like I said, just D and G back and forth the whole time. It's a super easy song. Play it for your friends, your next family gathering because everybody loves to sing. Loving is what I got. All right, so that about does it for me. Thanks for being here. Check out my cover of this song. I posted it on my SoundCloud. It's on my SoundCloud. We got more music coming your way. My next song drops this Friday. It's called The Depth and I'm super excited about it. It's maybe my favorite song that I've ever written, so. Super excited to share that one with you guys. And uh, yeah, thanks for tuning in. I hope this helped you. If it did, please give this video a like and subscribe to my channel. Leave a comment down below and share this video with your friends, anybody else who might be learning guitar and uh, wants to learn some new tunes. This is a really good one to add to your repertoire because it's super easy and everybody knows it. So it's bound to bring good vibes. Yeah, thank you again for watching. And I'll see you next week. But life is too short, so love the one you got Cause you might get run over or you might get shot Never stop a static, gotta get it off my chest Never have to battle with my bulletproof vest Take a small example